There's other people who go through that and it's always a great way to find an outlet to be around people who may be experiencing the same things that you are. And here in Springfield, you can also do that right now. Uh, starting tomorrow, the Good Grief Death Cafe will be brought to you. And we have the founder and creator here to kind of talk to us about it. Tiffany is here to tell us a little bit more. So welcome to Marketplace. Thank you. Yes. So you tell me, me, tell me about the Good Grief Death Cafe. What does that mean? Well, a death cafes were actually created years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember where, but it was, I can't remember where it was, mm -hmm. but it is something that is needed in every community, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, what it's for is for people who have experienced grief on any level. It can be family, pets, mm -hmm. friends, what have you. Mm -hmm. um, it's a place for people to come together to talk about their grief and living and coping and how to go forward and also talk about the things that they've experienced in their grief, the good mm -hmm. and the bad. I, I want to pinpoint on something, talking about coping a lot of times in families, especially families of color, something happens, we don't talk about it. Yes. And then we hold it in and we just kind of go on years sometimes mm -hmm. holding on to the sadness, the hurt, the pain. And so this is a great way to let that out with Absolutely. other people. Yes. Now at this Good Grief Death Cafe, will there be uh, I know there's going to be people who are going through the same thing. Will there be a speaker or a moderator to kind of help people go through? No. I will be hosting it. Okay. And basically what I do is I just introduce myself because I'm not sure who shows up. Whoever mm -hmm. it's for, they'll come. There's no cost. It's at Lincoln Library. Mm -hmm. And I basically just ask, what brought you here today? Please state your name and, and why you're here. Mm -hmm. And then it just goes from there, mm -hmm. goes from there. And yeah. so you're wearing a button. Yes. And I want to talk to you about why you started the Good Grief Death Cafe right here in Springfield. Uh, okay, my son, well, first of all, I lost my aunt and my son unexpectedly in November of last year. Mm -hmm. um, I got a call, my aunt was sick. She had been in and out of the hospital and I hurried and drove to Indiana and she passed six days later. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, my son, BJ Frazier, was murdered. Mm -hmm. um, and I experienced so many things, of course, with the grieving process, it's hard to grieve two people that you love at the same time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Did you ever have um, people to help you release what you were going through? I had friends. Um, I had people that called me that, that even helped me um, plan two memorial services at mm -hmm. the same time. Um, but I had, I had a good small base of people um, that are in my circle, mm -hmm. but there were more people that were emotionally ambushing me. Mm -hmm. By that I mean when I go out in public, it's, t it's taken me a long time to go outside. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been eight months. Um, and people would come up and, and basically aggressively ask me questions. I've had people tell me how to grieve, tell me how to feel, what's mm -hmm. appropriate, what's not appropriate. And nobody can tell you how to grieve. Yeah. So um, that is what made me want to create a death cafe mm -hmm. here. Um, someone else gave me the name Good Grief. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's a good thing to have associated with grief, is yeah. good grief, so that you can release it um, and it'll be welcomed in a space where other people understand how you feel no matter how their loved one passed away. I think that the best way to start your healing process is to do it the, the best way you know how. Yes. And to not think that it's a one, two, three step process because it's absolutely not. Oh, no, because I'll be doing okay for, you know, a week or two mm -hmm. and then I'm, it feels like I'm right back to square one, mm -hmm. you know, but I have to keep constantly reminding myself that it's only been eight months, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's just only been eight months. For someone watching this that may be experiencing something right now or, or may ha you may have hit some points that they can feel or relate to, mm -hmm. what's a message for them ahead of the Good Grief Death Cafe? Um, be true to yourself. Allow yourself to feel. Honor your feelings um, and talk about how you feel. If you can't talk about it, write it down. Mm -hmm. Journal. Um, you know, there's voice recordings, but you have to let it out. You can't just sit there and hold it in and yeah. try to be strong for other people. And you've been doing good grief for once a month. Yes. So okay. last month was the first one. Okay. This is the second one. Right now it's once a month. 
I would like for it to continue at least twice a month, mm -hmm. and it's it's at the library at the bi in the bicentennial room. Awesome, awesome. And what time does it start? Uh, it starts from six to eight. Okay. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so that's probably a good time frame. Mm -hmm. I think so when people are getting off work, yeah, they can you stop know stop in. Yeah, and we have we'll have coffee and donuts for everyone Perfect. as well. Perfect. I yeah. love what you're doing. I think it, it's you. very needed, especially you know even even if you're not um, experiencing a, a loved one of a, a loss of a loved one right now, we're going through so much as a community. Yes, so I think this is wonderful. It's perfect, and I hate that this happened to Sonia Massey. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Um, and it, but it's also interesting to me that I had this date planned since last month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything happens for, for a reason. reason. Yeah. For a reason. So I hope and pray that people can benefit from yeah. this. Well, thank you so much for thank coming for on and sharing me. your story. Thank of you. course, guys, head over to our website. We'll have that flyer for you as well. Just check out your screen. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.